Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time to do a very major fragrance review. This one I have been waiting for for some time to get my hands on and I have it. I'm going to do initial impression. Uh, final review I'll do after a couple of weeks or a month later uh, with all the updates. But this fragrance you can see from title is going to be an Afnan perfume which is very popular house. And this particular perfume, the name itself is going to be, you know, like everybody's like to watch list or <clears throat> in interest list. Uh, this fragrance called Tobacco Rush. Okay, this fragrance I still I have it already. There's a new one also uh, alongside this is the patchouli. I think that one I also have. I'll do initial impression soon. Um, so this one, big thanks to MMC Luxury Perfumes where I bought this, and they are authorized distributors. So thank you so much, brother Iskander, for guiding me and helping me, and uh, all the you know time that you gave. Uh, I'm very very grateful, brother. Thank you so much. What a wonderful person. And I think uh, Dr. Ekramul who introduced me to this house. So thank you so much to both of your brothers. You guys have been awesome. So Fragrance Expo, which took place in this weekend in Bangladesh, uh, it was a privilege to go there. And then I did sort of like a, a video on that. You can see what's the sinner, scene of Bangladesh Uth community especially. Okay, check that out. So this perfume I have seen not many reviews. Not everybody has it and it's expensive. I asked for this uh, fragrance from one of the pages, but they asked for like price was very high, $85. So I was like, that's the standard price everywhere. But if you now get it from MMC perfumes, you're going to get a really, really good price. I don't know exactly how much they will sell it for, but you can knock them. That's the best price. Okay. So they are based in Chittagong. They have two uh, stores. Uh, they have one wholesale and one retail. So you can order through their page, WhatsApp, the number is given. Check the link below or uh, in the under the video. So now big, uh, big uh, time for the moment of truth. How good is this? Is it worth it? Is it awesome? The most of people said who tried it is like clone of red tobacco. Okay, um, we'll tackle that. It's a big name, red tobacco, Mansara, and then also mystery tobacco. I think from Carolina Herrera, or is it mystery tobacco? Like you know, like one of those tobacco fragrances from Carolina Herrera. This one they say is similar to it. I think it's called yeah mystery tobacco. So I opened Fragrantica just to make sure I don't make that many mistakes. So let's see. So presentation wise, this is a 10. This is a game for presentation. When you pay a lot of money and you think like, hey, why am I paying so much money for Afnan? Let's see you're paying 85 bucks. This is why you're paying one of the big reasons, the presentation. So I took up the, uh, the plastic, sort of like slide very easily out, up and down. So this is the sleeve and it's very nice art, uh, like artwork on the page. I mean the cover, I don't know if it's a mosque or what city. It represents but looks very nice if you buy this you'll really like this packaging and it has a holographic sticker for quality assurance 80 ml which is a little bit uh, like painful for some people if it was 100 people would be more happy but then it's okay because it's beastly performer so EDP concentration sort of like there you go hello so the box very beautiful this reminds me sort of like Arabian wood so when you pay for Arabian wood for such presentation you can also pay for this so don't uh, blame or bash the house. Hey, your house is like budget house. Why is it so expensive? No. Uh, Afnan is a little bit more up class and a little bit more expensive than other some of the other budget Arab houses and their like presentation is just so stunning. Take a look at that. You can feel this raised. Okay, the name is gold. And this one, the box is hard box. Back looks like that. And it sort of feels like a suede effect. I don't know if it's a leather wrap or what, but I'm not sure. So very nice, very beautiful presentation. Love it. So when you open it, I thought at first it's going to be like this, you know, when you open it, there'll be like an attached, you know, sort of box, but no, it comes off. So inside, very beautiful bottle. I don't know if my camera will do justice. So let me take it out. It, it, it's, it's in a very nice podium. Okay. It's safe. Even if you drop the box, I think the bottle will survive the drop. This is how the bo uh, bottle looks. Reminds me sort of like Amiri by Arabian Oud, that sort of quality, but it's not as heavy, but it's still got weight. Side got this velvety texture. Okay. Front, this is plastic, but looks very, very nice, very neatly done. And this is like a raised stick on, I think, Afnan and the name of the perfume up there, back, base, sticker. So it's, it's glass, good quality glass. And the finest thing is also you get magnetic cap. Makes me happy. Okay, makes, makes up sort of for the ATML. So you guys know I always give my honest thoughts. If I like something, I like it. If I don't like something, I also mention it. So I think that if see the magnet is, it's strong enough. Good, good, good quality magnet, not a gimmicky thing. So man, upon initial spray, I just said, brother, can I have this bottle? They just brought these fragrances for display at the expo, not selling much, but they kept my request. I took the bottle, you know, like, 
so happy to buy this you know that time let's spray this one spray is good enough so the thing is why i bought this when i sprayed it you know oh it doesn't go both ways i think oh it goes only one way that's beautiful it's supposed to be afnan this way where the name is in front if you try the other way it doesn't sit you know it goes back to the original so bringing down the excitement a little bit when i spray this on my skin i know the hype i love tobacco you guys know anything to do with tobacco i love it and if this little bit sweetness uh, i will get it i will get it immediately because i love the note of tobacco so when i smelled it it smells very familiar and i thought of immediately red tobacco um and some other tobacco that i had it has that tobacco vibe even like something like uh, something like tom ford tobacco wood or tobacco veni it gave me the sort of like a spicy tobacco sweet opening something feels like fruits so official notes breakdown surprise surprise the fragrance ticket they already have it in their website tobacco spicy notes woody notes uh, sweet notes spicy again at the bay, hard and the lavender uh, base notes you get amber agarwood and cedar basically wood base and hard is about spices and sweet lavender and top is heavy with tobacco spicy and woody notes so i'll tell you one thing moment of truth i love this opening this is a masterpiece of opening and it will feel like sort of like red tobacco most people who used it they said joy bhai it's a, it's a red tobacco clone wait you know it, there is twist this is not a red tobacco clone i'll tell you one thing yes in the opening that sweet fruit you know that you smell you get that red tobacco vibe but minus the smokiness but more fruity they mention the sweet notes i think it's a fruity dried fruit sort of tobacco but mild spices and i love it i love the first phase i think even i like it as much as red tobacco or some other high class tobacco 1821 sweet tobacco spirit and i just got it i did not smell the dry down i came home i put one on my hand before sleeping middle of the night i woke up and with this huge smell that was bothering me okay and i was like there's nobody around me who sprayed that perfume and what this weird smell is coming and then i realized i forgot you know like what i sprayed before because you know when you sleep you don't remember a lot of stuff it turns into something very spicy i think there's a hint of not just wood there's a leather it remind me sort of like epic man and some of the other perfumes they say something a spirit of dubai this one perfume i never smelled it but it remind me of something like very spicy fragrance i smelled before something like let's say arm of uh, niche onyx perhaps okay or uh, something like epic man or some of the other ones which is very spicy dark and kind of skanky so this is not a red tobacco clone and it's the twist really like woke me up my senses okay and i cannot say for good or bad you know this fragrance is not going to be easy blind buy guys you know even if you love this fragrance in the presentation you say joy bhai is this a blind buy worthy no don't even think about it you definitely need to sample this go to the sh- shop Uh, spray on your skin wait for half an hour to reach the dry down the spicy notes in this in the opening it's wearable it's very beautiful it's nice like late and it's like warms you up it's nice it's still nice and fruity but once those sweet fruity notes are gone the tobacco remains but the tobacco becomes so spicy and aggressive man this is very sharp and this is a spicy fragrance that reminds me mostly of kalan you know parfum de marli kalan's spicy dry down you know This one is definitely Baccarat Rouge opening but then it goes on its own merry way of pink pepper. The pink pepper is wearable in this whereas this one it becomes animalic. Man this fragrance it's true and true very cold weather fragrance. If it's a little bit sunny and dark, uh, sorry sunny and uh, warm, don't think of putting this perfume. Definitely not daytime perfume. I feel this is a good night out fragrance for colder months when it's foggy, chilling and then you know you want a fragrance to like hold its ground. beast mode activated this is a beast mode activated so performance wise it's a buy if you just want a performer this is a performer atml forget about it it's it's good this fragrance on last few years you literally need like one to two sprays if you do more you'll see you made a mistake okay you made a mistake so the thing is uh, i was so happy with it the opening one hour but then it goes different direction so i am have i'm going to have to uh, test it so much more see if i actually like it as much as i like the opening you know so the fragrance feels very exotic very niche side and some people will really be scared of this perfume i'm telling you if you love her of citrus aromatic or even like fragrances like oud from aqua di parma this is nowhere uh, that safe this takes the game to next level if you smell like royal oud by creed you like that there's no guarantee you like this okay very daring fragrance that dry down of the spices man i it is already popping up a little bit but after 1 to 2 hours this becomes a spicy affair and i think spicy woody 
and definitely the smoky type like tobacco wood but tobacco wood i think is more wearable than this go figure so this is not a blind by worthy fragrance it definitely has my respect like kuro says it definitely has the performance beast mode activated people will notice you but i suggest avoid this area do not wear it near your nostrils uh, unless you are a daring guy you're a tough guy this will really mess with you okay so quality is very very good but it's not a red tobacco clone which is a good news for me you know i don't i'm tired of the red tobacco or mystery tobacco clone this one has that opening of it but it goes to different direction so fruity tobacco dark uh mysterious beast mode but the main player of this perfume is the pimento i guess the spices and what spices mix of every single spice nutmeg perhaps there's like a little bit of cardamom cloves you know so this is a spicy king okay so respect to this fragrance i am a bit scared of this perfume right now do not commit to a full bottle without testing definitely try before you buy okay but the quality of this fragrance i'll definitely give high marks for the quality but i'm not quite sure for scent profile i will suggest this as a blind buy but packaging is phenomenal so overall uh, i will give it 8.5 in the initial impression because of the quality packaging and longevity but the smell is it the best of none so far the quality wise yes but wearability wise not quite sure right so that's my review uh, i hope you try it and let me know how you like it uh, if you do not also like it i saw some guys didn't like it i can see why it's not a safe perfume right thank you so much for watching i will do some more reviews i have some awesome fragrances coming up i've been buying i have ordered some more so in upcoming days i'll do mostly ajmal perfumes some exotic ones okay take care have a nice day thanks for watching and thanks for all your support all the time i mean it and it means the world to me when you watch and then leave a comment i love reading your comments take care i'll see you soon and uh, always smell good smell classy and stay happy take care bye bye